I think what would make it most functional for both students and teachers is to create a space where they would really want to be in it. I know that in the past when they have redone rooms with the students' interest in mind, the students' motivation is increased because they want to be there, they like being in there, and if the design works with the teacher's respect as well as if they can move the furniture wherever they need to be, um, I think that's what's in the best interest of the school. The multi-purpose room needs to move away from the traditional classroom setting. I mean, we have desks in rows, we have traditional tables and things like that. I think if teachers want to be innovative and creative, the physical environment should change to reflect that. Make changes to have you know, different ways students can work together into different groups and to do different types of projects. I think it can enhance the learning environment and, and the ways students learn. Some students can learn in a traditional setting in a traditional seating arrangement. Some students like to do it in a, in a more relaxed setting. Maybe you know they work better in groups. I think we can complement a lot of ways that different learners can learn by having different ways that the physical environment can be worked. I really think furniture that allows students to be more interactive with each other helps the learning process in a great deal. When students can be more communicative with each other and interact and share ideas, I feel that it really helps the creative process and also like their learning environment. I think when students have a more comfortable learning environment, they're more likely to participate in class and that's what we want. We want them to share their ideas. We will get a lot more out of our school day with a more comfortable learning environment. The better quality of the utilities we have betters our education process and I really think that's an important thing for us to consider at our school.